hello friends welcome to my youtube channel basic electrical today we have discussed about the uh, power in terms of symmetrical components so we have already discussed about the symmetrical voltage and symmetrical currents so now we have to uh, discuss about the how to calculate the power in terms of the symmetrical components so uh, we know that the total uh, complex uh, power is flowing uh, total complex power uh, flowing into the into the three phase circuit uh, through three lines uh, through the three lines and what is that that is line a b and c is there so the power s is equal to complex power p plus j into q complex power is given so here we can write s is equal to uh, that is v a i a conjugate plus v b i b conjugate plus v c i c conjugate because we know that s is equal to v a v into i conjugate but uh, we know what is that s is equal to v into i conjugate so here three uh, lines is there that is a b c that's why i have written s is equal to v a i conjugate and v plus v b con v b into i b conjugate plus v c into i c conjugate so that's why i have written that okay now next is that so s is equal to we can write like that in the form of matrix that is va vb vc transpose and that is into ia ib and ic conjugate okay so here that is va vb vc all are the voltages to neutral at the terminals at the terminals okay and the current ia ib and ic current flowing into the circuit of the three lines current flowing into the circuit of the three lines okay so this is that but we can write like that that is s is equal to a into v transpose and a into i conjugate okay so where v is basically is equal to the zero positive and negative sequence and the current i is equal to same uh, the zero sequence current positive sequence and the negative sequence okay so s is equal to that is v transpose a transpose and the a conjugate and i conjugate is there okay so we can suppose that that is equation number 1 okay so we know that the already what is that the a is equal to basically the value 1 1 1 and that is alpha square alpha and 1 1 alpha square and One, sorry, alpha into alpha square into and one is there. Okay, so uh, that is the value of a. We already know about that. So that is a, and the what is the value of a transpose? That is one one one, and this is one one one, and we can write alpha square alpha and alpha alpha square. Okay. so that is the value of a transpose similar way you can calculate the value of conjugate that is a conjugate 
is equal to 1 1 1 and that is alpha square conjugate that is alpha conjugate and that is 1 that is alpha conjugate that is alpha square conjugate and that is 1 so this is the value of a conjugate so what is the value of basically uh, the value of uh, that is alpha is it means one angle 120 degree and the value of alpha conjugate represent that one minus 120 degree so that is equal to you can write alpha square and the alpha square is equal to one and that is minus 120 degree and alpha square conjugate represent then one plus 120 degree that is alpha okay so in the previous uh, equation that is here is this one so you can write the alpha square conjugate that is the value of is it gives its gives the value is alpha because we already know that the alpha square conjugate is alpha similar way you can see that the alpha conjugate so alpha conjugate is value is equal to alpha square you can see that here okay so you can substitute this value then you can get that is a conjugate is equal to 1 1 1 alpha alpha square 1 alpha square alpha 1 okay so this is the value of a conjugate so you know that that is a transpose and a conjugate from the equation one we can uh, you you can see that that is a transpose and a conjugate is there so how, what is the value of this a transpose and a conjugate so just multiply these values that is a transpose that is one alpha square alpha and one alpha alpha square one 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 okay and the value of a conjugate that is 1 1 1 alpha alpha square 1 alpha square alpha 1 okay so this is the value so you can get it that is 3 and 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so by solving this then you can get these values so that is a transpose into a conjugate is equal to 3 and this is the identity matrix you can see that this is the value of if the diagonal elements are one then this is called the identity matrix so this is the i and so you it is called as the unit matrix okay identity or unit matrix a transpose into a conjugate so you know that what is s is equal to the complex power that is p plus jq so s is equal to basically v transpose and a transpose a conjugate and that is i conjugate from equation one so you can see that s is equal to v transpose and the value of a transpose into a conjugate is 3 into i so substitute 3 into i and that is i conjugate so that is 3 into v transpose and that is the value is i into i conjugate so that is i into i conjugate is i conjugate here so s is equal to 3 into so s is equal to 3 into v transpose that is v a 0 v a 1 and v a 2 okay and here i conjugate that is i a 0 i a 1 and i a 2 conjugate okay so that is s is equal to 3 you can write like that v a 0 v a 1 v a 2 and this one is i a 0 conjugate i a 1 conjugate and i a 2 conjugate so you can get that is s is equal to 3 v a 0 i a 0 conjugate plus 3 v a 1 i a 1 conjugate plus 3 v a 2 i a 2 conjugate so this is the uh, this is the equations that shows the complex power in the unbalanced system is equal to the sum of the complex power of the three symmetrical components okay so this is the equation of the uh, power in terms of the symmetrical components okay so this is the power in terms of the 
symmetrical components so i i hope that you have to learned how to calculate the power in terms of symmetrical components so thank you very much please like and subscribe my channel basic electricals thank you very much